Hello, everybody. Welcome to Under the Arch Sports. My name is David Woldingen, and today we're talking Mizzou recruiting. However, before we do, please remember to hit the subscribe button to our YouTube channel. Check out our Facebook and Instagram pages, as well as X. We'll keep you up to date on all things St. Louis sports. So please make sure to subscribe and follow us. Now, Mizzou picked up a big commitment in the transfer portal, uh, running back from Georgia State, Marcus Carroll. His last year with Georgia State, he had uh, 1,350 yards rushing with 13 TDs. He had, he's eighth nationally in rushing yards per, per game. Um, he caught 23 passes for 234 yards. Uh, has played a career of 40 games with a total of 21,000, or not 21, excuse me, 2,136 yards, 22 touchdowns. Averaging 4.2 yards per carry. Uh, he's 5'10", 210 pounds. Marcus Carroll was one of the top running backs in the portal. He had interest from uh, Ohio State, quite a few SEC schools. Um, I mean, you can you can continue to name the list. It's it's hard to tell with portal players which schools were interested in which schools are after them because quite honestly they it's one of those they don't have to report uh everything can be done behind closed doors but i do know he got to campus was on campus this last weekend and then ended up committing he uh on monday so big big get by the tigers just watching some of his film he kind of reminds me of Cody Schroeder in the sense that he doesn't mess around. He's a downhill runner. He'll hit his holes and just go. Um, a lot of what I saw is he'll plant his foot and maybe make one cut and then he's off to the races hitting that hole. Um, something I felt like uh, Pete struggled with, which is why he lost a lot of the playing time, and something that uh, Cody Schroeder really excelled at was just having the patience to see the hole, but once the hole was there, he hit it. He didn't dance around. He didn't try uh juke people out of their shoes, if you will. He just saw the hole, hit it, whether he got one yard or 30 yards. Uh He was going for that hole, and anytime he got tackled, he was falling forward. Uh This is kind of the vibe I get out of uh Marcus Carroll. I want to say this is a big get for the Tigers because – uh with Cody Schrader running out of eligibility and uh, Nathaniel Pete as well, both graduating. Mizzou only had two running backs on the depth chart that had any experience. And one was Jamal Roberts. The other was Tavarius Jones. Combined, they had a total of eight plays on offense. So they have virtually no experience right now at the running back position. Not saying the talent's there, but uh, huge in the sense that he's a, he's a four year uh, graduate, so he only has one year of eligibility left. But this is great in the sense that now we have someone with experience who will get the ball repeatedly. But you can mix in Jamal Roberts, but not have to carry the load of this team when it comes to running the ball. So if Mizzou stops there in the portal when it comes to running backs. I still think this is a really solid get. There's a couple pl other players that uh, uh, Mizzou was looking at, including ETM from Florida, who's in the portal. Uh, you had the running back from Mississippi State, who has 3,000 yards. He's also a four-year graduate. Um, again, I could see Mizzou going after one of them. I know ETM is most likely going to go to Georgia. Um, there's a lot of smoke around that who knows it's poor uh, again i think if, if etn came to mizzou he'd be wanting to be the prime back which is one of the reasons why he was leaving florida uh with this marcus carroll uh transfer get um personally i think you could see etn staying away from mizzou because he wants to be the feature back uh in mizzou's case if you do go after another player it would kind of write off your your talent behind in the depth. Um, it's a tough call. I, I If I were them, I would still continue to look, and if you find someone you really like, go after them. However, 
now with uh, Marcus coming to Mizzou, I think you could seriously take a good look at Jamal Roberts and Tavarius Jones and see if either one of them has what it takes to be a feature back in the future and kind of train them this upcoming season, uh, getting them reps as a backup running back and at the same time uh, prepping them to take over the load in the future. Um, if you don't, you risk having them hit the portal and then you're back to square one looking for somebody, if you will. Um, either way, huge gift for Mizzou. I'm looking forward to seeing what Marcus adds to this team. I think he's going to be a lot of fun to watch. And I honestly think Mizzou might be done in that area, and I could see them looking more towards D-line, linebacker, uh, especially on the linebacker side of things. I think Mizzou really needs to add a couple of guys uh, just because – There's not a whole lot of depth there, but a lot of time left in the portal season. Um, Mizzou has uh, the Ohio State game coming up, Cotton Bowl, December 29th. Make sure you stay tuned. We'll have our preview for that. And in the meantime, I want to wish everybody happy holidays, and thank you for watching Under the Earth Sports.